Hey guys, it's Lily Savry. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm here with you from the beautiful Los Angeles and we are going in on a 10 minute hourglass shaped sculpting session. So I'm gonna teach you how to sculpt the abs, work into the butt and create that really nice little waist into the hips. Are you ready girls? Down on your mat. Let's get going. You're gonna roll yourselves all the way down, slow and controlled, so legs are coming out in front. Slow and controlled, you're gonna take yourself all the way down into lying. And then from there, you're gonna bend the knees up. Now the key to an hourglass shape is to make sure that we're working the right ab muscles, the right glute muscles, and we're activating the correct chain. So we're gonna start off with some ab activation in the lower core, so the transversus abdominis, by bringing up both legs, double leg tabletop, gluing the inner thighs together, making sure that you're staying at 90 degrees at the knees and the hips, and then you're flattening the lower back into the mat. So important. Bring yourselves on up into a crunch, lower back, flatten the mat, activate that lower core. All the way up, girls, and you're gonna pump the arms up and down for 100. So we're gonna breathe in as we pump, and we're gonna breathe out for five. So it's breath in, two, three, four, five, breath out, two, three, four, five. All the way to 100, girls. We've got this if you wanna make it harder. Straighten those legs out, stay nice and high in that crunch. Pull those stomach muscles in, activate the lower core, make sure the lower back is not arching. Now ladies, if you're struggling, place the feet down, stay high in the crunch, do not give up. We're in this together, we're going to 100. That's halfway, 50 to go. Breath in, two, three, four, five. Breath out, two, three, four, five. Now keep that chin tucked to the chest. Pretend you're holding an imaginary tennis ball underneath the chin. Make sure you're in the right form, ladies. We've got this, you've got 20 left. Keep pumping, keep breathing. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, higher, five, four, three, two, and one. One exercise down, nine to go. Just give those abs a stretch out, amazing. And we're gonna go for toe reaches next, ladies. So you're bringing one leg up to 90, the other leg up, flex the feet, and we're gonna reach to the toes. Now if you struggle, place the knees down and reach up to the knees, okay? Get yourselves ready, and let's go, reach 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 we're doing 20 that's five six if you struggle place those knees down eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen breathe sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty have a break we're repeating that again in five seconds get yourselves ready ladies this is just warming up the abs in three two let's go reaching one two three, four, now if you can, place those legs up and reach for the toes, amazing, nine, 10, come on girls, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, five to go, 16, 17, 18, yes, 19, and 20, two exercises down, eight to go ladies, we can do this, okay, we're gonna make it a little bit harder now, we're gonna place the hands interlocked fingers at the back of the head, we're gonna bring one leg up to 90 degrees. Mirror that with the other leg, ladies. Come on nice and high into a crunch position. Lower back flatten the mat. We're gonna drop one leg down and bring it back up again. Let's go, down and up, down and up. Three, keep that lower back flat, stay high in a crunch. Four, five, all the way to 20. Six, seven, you can do it. Eight, coming up to halfway, nine, Halfway 10, 10 to go ladies, 10, nine, come on, we can do it. Eight, breathe, seven, six, come on girls, five, four, amazing, pull those stomach muscles in, two, and one, perfect, knees into chest, three down, we're gonna make that a little bit harder now, we're gonna go double leg, okay? So exactly the same starting position, Fingers interlocked, one leg up, followed by the other. Pull those stomach muscles in. You're gonna touch the toes down and draw them back in again, okay? Let's go, down and up. Two, pull those stomach muscles in. Three, don't let those knees come any more than 90 degrees. Five, six, seven, come on girls, we can do it. Eight, nice and high in the crunch, elbows stay wide. Nine, lower back flat, 10, 10 to go. 10, nine, amazing girls, eight, seven, nearly there, six, woo, five, should be feeling the abs, four, three, 
three, two to go, and one. Yes, ladies, well done, amazing. Four down, six exercises left. You are doing so well. Now for the hourglass shape, try not to do too much obliques. It's really nice to do some obliques because it helps cut into this area here, but too much obliques can actually thicken the waist. So we want to make sure we're not doing too many. So we're going to do one exercise only out of 10 and it's bicycles. So fingers interlock, hands at the back of the head or fingertips by temples, both legs up for me girls. And we're going to take the elbow to the opposite knee. Let's go. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, Seven, keep breathing. Eight, nine, halfway, ten. Ten, nine, come on girls, we've got this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! You're gonna repeat that, girls. We're doing two rounds. Gonna give you five seconds of recovery. Get yourselves ready. Okay, we're going in five, four, three, two. Fingertips by temples. Let's go. One, two, three. Four. Make sure you get that full rotation, elbow to opposite knee. Nine, halfway, ten. Ten, nine, eight, breathe, seven, six, five, four, three, two, woo! And one, we are halfway, girls. Five exercises left. You are killing it. So your abs should be hurting quite a bit right now. So we're gonna go one more ab exercise, then we're gonna work into the glutes. Hands come into a diamond shape, girls. You're gonna place them underneath the small of the back into the pelvis to support the lower back. Bring those legs up to 90 degrees, okay? Flex the feet, take them down as low as you can. Come on high into the crunch, and we're gonna flutter kick up and down. Let's go, one, two, three. Now if you're struggling, bring the legs higher. Six, seven, eight, nine. Pull those stomach muscles in. 11, if the neck hurts, lower down. 10, nine, Eight, let's go girls, seven, six, nearly there, four, three, two, woo, and one, amazing. Halfway girls, over halfway, four left, you are killing it. We're gonna go into butt now, okay? So we're gonna work all three butt muscles, it's so important, we're gonna work the glute max, the big butt muscle, the glute med, the outer butt muscle, and then the glute mim, which is the deep, butt muscles. So we're going to start off with a simple bridge girls. Feet are shoulder distance apart. Feet facing forward nice and flat. Pull those stomach muscles in. Flatten the lower back into the mat. Peel your way up into a bridge. Okay we're going to start off by keeping the knees wide and we're going to come halfway down and squeeze. One, two, three. Really squeeze those butt muscles at the top. Five. Keep those knees wide. Don't let them buckle in. Seven. Eight, if you can, take the arms up. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. As you can see, my toes are slightly raised because I'm taking my weight through my heels. Four, if you want the feet flat, that's fine. Just don't let the toes dig in. Hold at the top. Hold there, we've got 20 seconds at the top. Again, you should be feeling this in the butt and the hamstrings, ladies, if you're not. Dig those heels in, lift the toes. We've got 10 seconds left, pull the stomach muscles in. Come on, we can do it, pull those stomach muscles in. Five, four, higher, squeeze the butt. Three, two, stay high, now push those knees out. Let's go, out, out, out. Stay nice and high, ladies. Do not let that pelvis drop. We're not working anything down here, keep it high. Come on, every time you feel yourself drop, push up. Good, keep squeezing those butt muscles. Push those knees wide. We've got 10 left, nine, eight. Arms down if you need them. Six, five, come on, we're nearly there. Four, three, two. We've got another 20 second hold this time. We're coming onto our toes. Move those legs in nice and high. Bring the feet in towards the butt. Squeeze the butt and hold there. 20 seconds. If you need the support, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Just keep going, keep squeezing the butt. We've got 10 seconds left, really squeeze. Eight, seven, come on ladies, six, five, higher, pull the stomach muscles in. Three, two, and one, woo! Three exercises left. You are killing it. Well done, ladies. I'm 
so impressed with you. Right, so we're gonna come on up into a bridge again, exactly the same starting position. This time you're shifting the body weight over onto one side, so we'll start off with the left. You're gonna hover the right leg, you're gonna flex the foot, and we're gonna pump up for 20. Let's go, one, two. Now this works the hamstring and the butt and the core. Good, eight, nine, 10. Now if you're struggling, just stay with a normal bridge pumping. Good, six to go, five, four, three. Yes, ladies, two and one. Straight change, other leg comes up. Change over, let's go. One, two, three, come on girls, four, five, six, arms are down for support, nine, ten, ten to go, nine, we're nearly there, eight, seven, yes, six, five, four, three, two, woo, and one, yes, two exercises left, we are building an hourglass as we speak ladies you are doing so well so the next one you're going to come onto your side we're going to work the glute med which is the butt muscle that gives you that shape on the outside this is really neglected this muscle girl so make sure you take this and you do it at least three or four times a week okay so lying on your side you're going to create a gap underneath the side of your waist by taking yourself all the way down and pull those stomach muscles in, okay. If you have a weight and you wanna make it harder, pop that weight on the outside of the leg. If not, don't worry. Flex the foot, girls. Bend the underneath leg. Place the fingertips down for support if you need them. Otherwise, hand on the hip. And we're gonna pump the leg up and down for 20. That's three, four, five. Really pull those stomach muscles in. Engage the core and try and get that gap underneath the side of the body, okay? You've got 10 left, ladies, keep pushing. Eight, seven, six, five. You should be feeling it here. And the core, two and one. Amazing, bring it forward just a bit. And we're gonna arc now. We're gonna come back and forward in a nice arc shape. Two, good, all the way to 10 for this one. So it's 20 total, 10 in each direction. Good, four, five, Good, really pull those stomach muscles in. Six, should be feeling this out of that. Seven, eight, we're nearly there. Nine, again, if you've got that weight, place it on here. And 10, now hold it back. Hold it back in extension. Pull those stomach muscles in. Get that gap underneath the waist, pump it up. Two, I use my hands in front of me for this so I don't roll back, girls. Good, coming up to 10. That's 10, we've got 10. Nine left, eight, nearly there. Seven, come on, six, push. Stomach muscles in, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Last exercise, now you should be feeling it here. So as I said, this is perfect for building that shape into the waist, little waist, building into the glutes. So knees come together, feet come together. We're gonna place the feet up onto an imaginary stool. The fingertips are in front of us. If you wanna make it harder, they come here. We're gonna clam, we're gonna open, then we're gonna straighten. We're gonna touch the feet and the knees. Let's go, open, straighten, feet and knees. Open, arm up if you wanna make it harder. Feet and knees, open, straighten, feet and knees. Three, straighten, feet, hand on hip if it's a little bit too difficult with the arm up. Otherwise, hand in front of you to make it easier. Halfway, straighten, feet, pull that core in, girls. Open, straighten, feet and knees. Three to go, open. Straighten, feet and knees, two to go. Straighten, feet and knees, last one. Hold it straight, take the underneath leg down, move it as far forward as you can. Last bit, I promise, turn the toe down, heel up, and we're gonna pump up for 10 only. Nine, eight, seven, this burns, six, come on, we can do it, five, four, three, two, woo, and one, amazing. Bring that leg forward, girls. Give it a good hit, wake that muscle up. We've got to repeat that on the other side, then you are done, you are killing it. Wake that muscle up, you're doing so well, ladies. Ah, oh, I know it burns, but you are killing it. Right, so we've got to turn over onto the other side now. So we're gonna even you out. Right, starting off side work series again, exactly the same starting position. The underneath leg is bent the upper leg is straight. We're supporting the head on the hand and creating that nice gap underneath the side of the body. Flex the upper foot, okay? From there, got the sun on me here. We're gonna pump up. One, 
two, three, flexed foot, pull the stomach muscles in, squeeze the butt, seven, eight, you want that gap underneath your side if you can, ten to go, nine, eight, come on girls, seven, six, five, four, three, two, move it forward, and we're going to arc, let's go, back and forward, two, if you need that hand in front of you, that's fine, three, come on, you can do it, four, if you're feeling more strong, arm can come up, just don't let yourself rock, girls, five to go, come on, four to go, three to go, come on, you've got this, two to go, really arc, and one, amazing, take it back into extension now your waist is going to want to drop don't let it pull those stomach muscles in i know not all of us will have a gap under our waist that is fine as long as your lower core is activated okay pump up let's go two three four five yes girls six seven eight nine ten ten to go nine eight keep pushing seven six five four three two, woo, and one, bend the knees ladies. We are on to our last exercise, the knees are bent. We have our ankles in line with our bottom, okay? The stomach muscles are pulled in, we bring our feet up onto an imaginary stool, but the knees stay together. From there, we're gonna open the knees apart, straighten, touch the feet, touch the knees, let's go, open, straighten, feet and knees, two down, open, straighten all the way to 10, and knees, those stomach muscles are activated. We've got that gap underneath our side. Coming up halfway. Okay, we're halfway, five to go. Five, straighten. Feet, if you're struggling, ladies, place that hand in front of you. If you're more advanced, lift it up. Let's go. Three, straighten. Feet and knees. Two, straighten. Feet and knees. Last one, straighten. Hold it up, move it forward. Toes down, heel up. Underneath legs down, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven. Hands in front if you need them. Four, three, two, and one. Woo. Place that leg forward. Again, give the butt a good hit, okay? We're gonna stretch those glutes out. You have killed it, ladies, okay? So on your back. Oh, literally lying on a canyon right now, I know. There's a lot of dirt, but it is bliss and beautiful. So we're gonna hook the left ankle over the right knee. We're gonna hug behind the back of the hamstring and pull in nice and tight. Good, really, really feeling that stretch in the butt muscle. 20 second hold if we can, girls. You've done so well. And we're gonna change legs. Hooking over, hugging behind the back of the thigh, so into the hamstring. And you should be feeling this, ladies, in the glute knee muscles. So right deep in the glutes. Good, we've got 10 seconds left. Breathe into it. Oh, that sun is glorious. Last five, four, pull in a little bit tighter. Two, and one, amazing. Ab stretch, reaching up and over. A couple of really nice deep breaths in and out. You wanna make it deeper, lengthen those legs totally normal with this that your lower back may arch like mine try then to get it flat and then re-arch it amazing and we're gonna come on up girls whoop, you smashed it <laughs> absolutely smashed it i am so proud of you all that is the perfect workout for creating that hourglass shape it was perfect for me today because I'm suffering with a bit of a cold, so it doesn't work your cardio too much, but you can still rip into those muscles and feel a real burn. So I'm so proud of you. If you're still feeling sore, make sure you take yourself over to my other video, which is the lower body stretch out, to make sure you're not feeling too sore tomorrow. But well done, smashed it, and I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, it's Liz. 